Welcome back to Keeping It Real with Marilyn and Steve. Today we are taking advantage of the fact that our temperatures have gone back up into the mid 70s and we have taken some of the pots that we brought into the house from the garden and we are actually going to empty out the pots and see what we got. This is some ginger and some turmeric and I'll tell you a little bit about each one as we're emptying them out of the pots. So I'm going to start with the ginger. Now this is some ginger that we had picked up fresh just at Aldi's. We had it um, hanging in our pantry. It started to actually put out little shoots. We threw it into a pot and had it on a table in our sunroom and it just wasn't doing very well. In the spring, we put the pot out into the garden. It actually completely died off and then we weren't sure if it was gonna make it, figured it was done, hung the pot in the back of our greenhouse, and it came back. So let's get this emptied out and see how much ginger we actually have in the bottom of this pot from one small piece that we put in last fall. We had the ginger for making teas, and I've let this dry out so it would be easier to take out of the pot. We're gonna see what we end up with. I have no idea. Let's see a couple of yucky pieces. Let's see what we get when we get inside. Here. So not bad considering this is something we thought had apt absolutely died. So we have this one decent sized piece that we're going to take the stems off and we're going to use this over the winter for our fresh ginger. And then we're going to take these. This is a small one and we've got this here, which is actually three different plants. We're going to break this apart. We're going to replant these and we'll have them for next year. So now it's time to move on to the turmeric. We use turmeric either for making a curry or for making a golden broth. Now the golden broth is what we use as vegetarians in place of chicken broth in our soups. So let's get these out of the pots and see how we made out. Not bad for pot number one. Now we did get our starts for our turmeric, which are just little pieces from pine tree. Uh, that is where we get anything that we're doing for starts, onions or, or if there are special seeds that we're looking for. Now let's get on to the second pot to see what we have from there. So this is the original tuber, one of the two tubers that I originally planted. And we did get quite a bit of turmeric off this. I mean, way more than we're going to use in a year. Um, but I may take one of these and try replanting it and see how it does and see if I can get more for next year. Well, let me go get this all cleaned up and I'll meet you back in the kitchen. Once it was cleaned up, we ended up with a two ounce piece of ginger and about seven ounces of turmeric. Now for us this year, it wasn't about how much we got as a quantity for a harvest, but more about could we get a harvest at all? This year for us was about experimenting with things that we normally wouldn't grow in our area. We planted Chicago figs, we planted peanuts, we planted ginger and turmeric. Now these are things we wouldn't normally grow here in New England out in our garden uh, because we can't garden all year round, but there are things that either we like or we use on a regular basis that we wanted to know, could we grow these successfully in case in the future we need to grow them because either we can't get them or they're too expensive to get at the store. 
So for us, this year was a success. We know that we can plant and successfully harvest. We also know how much we would need to plant if we wanted to have a large quantity in a harvest. Um, we had a lot of rain this year. Don't know if that played a part in some of this as well, but it's always a learning experience. But I would say the experiments we did this year were definitely a success. If you did any experimental garden tests this year, we'd love to hear in the comments what you tested. How did it go? Was it a success or was it not quite so good? Um, also, remember, give us a like if you enjoyed our video. Share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe so you get notified the next time we have a video if you ring that bell. And until next time, everybody, take care.